Hey everybody, it's Meredith Miller with Inner Integration. Today I want to tell you about my new book that I just published last week on Amazon. It's available in both print and Kindle editions. It's called The Journey, a roadmap for self-healing after narcissistic abuse. So I'm only going to do this video in English, by the way, because the Spanish translation isn't ready yet. That's going to be a couple more months down the road. But when that comes out, I'll do video in Spanish introducing the book. But for now, it's only in English. So essentially, this book is going to help you figure out where you are and where you want to get in that journey of recovery. It's going to give you a way to measure the changes along the way, because if you want to be able to make change in your life, you need to be able to measure it. And essentially, this book is going to provide you with a framework and a structure to see the journey. I've divided it into three parts based on the three stages of self-healing after narcissistic abuse. And you'll be able to see even the three thresholds that take place along the way, the major shifts that take place as you move from one phase into another. And so I want to tell you a little bit about some myths that I'm also going to dispel in this book. One of them is that, you know, if you go no contact, that's the way to heal after narcissistic abuse. But actually no contact is just the boundary and the protection that gives you that space to work on yourself and to do the healing Sometimes people also think that, you know, just telling their story is going to heal it, but that's also not true. Unfortunately, telling your story is going to help you to that empowerment. It's going to help take away the emotional charge from the story, but it's also not going to heal you. And some people also think that, you know, discovering the information about narcissistic abuse, discovering more about who the narcissist is and doing all this self-education, that that's going to heal them and also that won't heal you, it's going to create this sort of like relief in the initial stages of healing where you discover that this is a thing that's happening, that this is what happened to you, but it's not actually going to heal you. You actually have to do the work. And one of the other myths that I hear a lot is that time is going to heal, but actually time just takes away the sting. It doesn't heal you after the abuse. You actually have to do the work. And what happens if you don't do the work is you get involved in that repetition compulsion where you're attracting abuser after abuser or you're going back with the same abuser many, many times because you haven't done the self-healing work. And so you stay in the suffering and the struggle long term. I did. I did for decades. I just didn't know. You know, so I wanted to write this book as someone who understands the terrain of this journey to put this out there for you so that you can have this structure to see where you are and where you want to get along this journey. You know, I went through over 37 years of narcissistic abuse before I figured it out. I mean, before I even really knew like what it was and what was happening to me. And then it took me, you know, almost three more years to really do this whole complete phase of the healing after narcissistic abuse. And I didn't have a roadmap and that's what took so long. So I wanted to be able to help people. They don't have to take so long in this journey. You know, Jackson McKenzie says in his book, Psychopath Free, that it takes about one to two years to heal after this. And that's probably about average. I think I took longer because I just didn't know what was going on. I didn't have this roadmap. I want to help you take less time along this journey to understand where you are and where you want to get and to see actual markers of that change. So the book is divided into three parts, those three stages, you know, the victim, the survivor, and the thriver. And then that's divided into 12 phases. And so as you read the book, you're going to get an idea of where you are and you're going to get an idea of where you want to be. So each of those parts of the book has a list of the symptoms and the markers that help you understand the nature of that stage. You know, what does it look like when you're in stage one? What does it look like when you're in stage two? And what does it look like when you're in stage three? So you can accurately gauge where you're at. And there's also a chapter in each of those parts on the work that takes place, you know, on the key components, the key self-work that you need to do in order to get yourself to the next level. And then each of those stages also contains chapters on the rite of passage. This is based on Joseph Campbell's work, which essentially is about this transformational human journey that we all take. And what I've done during those chapters is relate his work to narcissistic abuse. And I've even put in there anecdotes from my own journey. Like this is the most personal I've ever told any pieces of my story out in the public. And I put those pieces in there in each phase of the journey so that it can be real for you. So you can see that 
And you can understand like what I mean when I'm describing that phase and what's taking place in that phase and how I experienced it. And maybe through the mirror of my experience, you see your own experience. So you can see, you know, where you are and understand what that would look like in your own life and in your own journey. You know, the amazing thing is that, you know, just like when you read the, the, the Psychopath Free book, and if you haven't read that, I really hope you do, especially in stage one, that's a must read because it really helps you to understand the patterns of this abuse, you know, what it looks like. And the fascinating thing is that around the world, no matter what country, what culture, what language, what socioeconomic status, what race people are, these patterns are so very similar. Of course, we all have a unique individual journey, but the pattern itself is so similar. And that's the fascinating thing about the healing journey as well, is that there are patterns. And of course, your journey is unique to mine. But when you hear my journey, when you hear the journey of others, it helps you see your own because you recognize those patterns. So I am so excited to share this book with you. The links are below this video for the Kindle and the print version. In fact, I went ahead and put those links in most of my videos in the video description. By the way, some people ask me about links for things. I don't know if you know, but below the video, there's a little thing that says show more, and that gives you all those links. So uh, please be patient with me. I might not have another video for like another 10 days or so. I really want to enjoy some rest and relaxation. If I get really inspired, I might do another video, but I also might just really enjoy this and put up another video around the holiday time. So I'm sending you all a big hug.